think of a country as a balanced system which aims to stability and population health where employees sustain society by paying contributions unemployed are potential workforce unlike what people think unemployment doesn't in itself has a bad meaning there is who enters the world of work feeding the rise of the country or there is who start to work under the table who goes abroad luckiest people win the lottery even people that conclude their work cycle together with who still hasn't started can continue to rise with the country all the system is guided by a government whose policies influence the dynamics of work let's look at the case Italy labor market is carried by uncertainty uncertainty that is caused by several factors there is wrong social policy there is financial crisis, there is growing undeclared work, and much more which contributed to create this adverse atmosphere. Navigating under these conditions is complicated. Make sense of it. People get information thanks to media that often deal with only a question share, without ever showing the heart of the problem. Sometimes data seem to bring back a positive state. Otherwise it focuses the attention on just negative ones positive negative data but compared to what a complete background is hardly told a bit like the case in Italy everybody talks about unemployment pension problem but nobody focuses the attention on another issue inactives in working age here lies the undeclared work the social unease the discouragement and the future's uncertainty a complete view gives us the chance to have a better idea on national situation. At the same time, it's useful to produce a confrontation between our own national data and other countries' ones. To understand the cloud that the single elements have also in a European perspective, we have to compare the inactives in working age, the inactives in unworking age, the unemployed and the employed. Now it's easier to understand the official definition of labor force, the actives, and on the fact that if inactives grow, it will not be because of your father's retired at last, but because young people have given up to quest for a job. Now it's easier to understand why Italy is flying down.